Mike, you've talked about consistently a lot, consistency a lot with this team. What did you think of it uh, Saturday? And if it's good, is it easier to become more consistent? Is it easier to get in the routine that way? Uh, I hope so. I did think we were more consistent. We weren't, certainly weren't the whole time. I think that, um, uh, but when we did have adversity, if something went wrong on offense, defense picked us up. If something went wrong on defense, offense picked us up. Uh, and then I thought special teams figured in as well. So, you know, and that's what you want is you want to have complimentary football where all phases are, you know, holding up their end. <clears throat> <laughs> Coach, at, uh, Nick Jones, six foot two, but obviously he's been effective at left tackle. He's not your prototypical size of left tackle. What do you see from him that makes him so effective there? Uh, good feet. He's got good feet. Uh, you know, some guys just generate more power than others. He generates quite a bit of power. Uh, you know, long arms. I think, uh, uh, and then he's a guy that uh, you know is. Uh, pretty synchronized athletically he's not all choppy out there i mean he, he does things uh, smoothly and i think efficiently john mike i need to uh get your thoughts on something it's my dad's birthday he's same age as you actually uh, he's not really much for gifts in terms of what he wants so it, it's kind of hard to you know think about what to get him do you have any uh, recommendations for for a good uh, birthday gift for someone that's your age Oh shoot! I don't know. A day off. Um, the uh, I'd go on a road trip somewhere. Pick out some place cool. Go on a road trip. None of the boring stuff. Uh, you know, uh, no cell phones. Uh, find some cool spots to go and uh, take a drive. Eat at some great places. I'd say. Jack, the Arkansas defensive coordinator Barry Odom, someone you faced plenty of times in your career. What have you kind of seen from Arkansas's defense this season? Is that kind of similar to what you've seen from Odom's defenses in the past? Yeah, I think it's similar. You know, he's got his uh, package that he's worked for years to, you know, refine and put together. And there's, you know, there's some changes here or there, I think, to accommodate the players he's got. And then, uh, but, you know, I don't think he's going to reinvent something new because he spent, uh, you know, well over a decade developing this one. So. Yeah. Mike, you talked in the past about you know this team not necessarily being old but being experienced. How, how do you think this group has kind of learned to you know handle the emotions that come with the big win like you guys had, and then be able to flush it obviously with a ranked opponent coming in again? Well, the biggest thing is uh, I hope we're able to just uh, <clears throat> focus in on practice and improvement because that's all that we really have control over. And if we do that, then. You know, I think that gives us the opportunity to play our best. Coach, this is the Arkansas team that uh, leads the SEC in sacks. So going into this game, is there a greater emphasis on the pass protection or is it about the same? Well, we always emphasize pass protection quite a bit. You know, we throw it more than anybody. So, you know, we're kind of locked into the pass protection business. So, yeah. Deshaun Page was out the other day, and then Buki went out. J.P. Purvis came in and gave you some good minutes. What what did you guys see from him on Saturday when he got that opportunity? I thought he's explosive, excited to play. I thought, uh, you know, he didn't have any real stage fright out there, but just went out and uh, played hard. I thought he played good.